The plains of Kansas, the hills of Missouri, and the Oklahoma Dust Bowl make the tri-state mines. The tri-state mines are lead and zinc, 10% of the lead for America, and 38% of the zinc. Metals important to the industry of our country. $20 million business every year. It is Monday morning, 7 o'clock. Elmer Carrington is going to work. Elmer and the men go down. Down in the earth, 200 feet. At the bottom of the shaft, they enter the tunnel. In the larger mines, the men wear electric lamps and are aided by more mechanical equipment. This is a small mine, but the method of mining is just the same. The shovelers load the rock blasted the night before. They get 13 to 14 cents for a 1,650 pound can. Working in silica dust, the years of their lives are numbered. They push the cans to the shaft. The hooker loads the cans. The cans go to the shaft tower. The rock is screened, piled ready for the mills and for the smelters. The empty can goes down again. Blackie, the hoisterman, starts the compressor. There is little ventilation outside the main tunnels. The new pockets are dead air. Wet drilling is in current use now, but there is insufficient wetting down of the mine walls and of the rock itself to prevent the spread of silica dust. Father got an F card. Father has the roop. A silicosis F card. They won't let him work. He might die on the premises. All he needs is to quit the mines forever, to escape forever the knife-sharp flint dust. All he needs is years of rest, years of sunshine and milk and rest. Well, he's quit the mines forever. He will die when the sap flows. He will be dead in the spring. The Union says, the International Union of Mine, Mill and Smelter Workers, the Union says, We know these conditions. Let us fight for health. There is death in the mines for our friends and our enemies. There is no distinction between our lungs. This is our problem, to make the work safe, to make mining fit work for human beings. Let's all get together. Breathing silica dust causes silicosis, which is scar tissue in the lungs. Silicosis can be prevented by general ventilation and local suction exhaust of this type. But silicosis never can be cured. It invites tuberculosis, and when death comes, TB will be the cause of it. You can fight TB, which is based on silicosis. You can fight for your life in a two-room shack with dust and silica blowing in the window. The people live in the shadow of the chat piles. Chat piles are tailing piles. Tailing piles are crushed rock, rock from which the ore has been extracted. Rock to gravel to sand to dust. And the dust blows over the towns and the streets, the streets and the houses, the houses and the people, the schools and the children. They live in this shadow. 
Some improvement has been started, but it is not enough. The answer to our problem is a four-point program. Four things must be done to straighten out these conditions. A federal workman's compensation law covering industrial disease for industries engaged in interstate commerce. Federal legislation prescribing minimum standards of working conditions. A law with teeth in it. A cheap housing development away from the chat piles. A regional sanitarium like the state hospitals to provide much needed care for the tuberculars in the tri-state. Silicosis, tuberculosis, malnutrition, general diseases. In the meantime, they sicken. In the meantime, they die. Give us health, give us work, give us life. Give us health. Give us work. <laughs>